Hey guys, I'm Phil the Blanks, and welcome back to what's probably the last episode of Sonic Mania. This level is called uh, Titanic Monarch. It just feels last level y, so I decided to cut last episode early just in case. Um, I mean, I hope I'm not wrong, I'd look really stupid. But, so yeah, Titanic Monarch, that just makes me think of a big iron butterfly <laughs> than anything else. Um, I love the background, though. It's very cool. The um, isometric view. It actually reminds me a little bit of Earthbound, Foreside. Very awesome. And a little bit of uh, Undertale, actually. Um, in Hotland, where it's kind of like the city or something. Yeah. Whee! Speaking of Undertale, uh, I was able to get my hands on... Well, not yet. It's being shipped when, it, when it's out. But uh, my hands on a physical copy of Undertale for the PS4, which is very cool. I liked Undertale. Um... I won't get crazy into it because I know that it has its fan base and it has its uh, people who hate its fan base. But uh, I really liked Undertale, and it's twenty bucks on the PlayStation Four, so we got a couple bucks. I mean, it's cheaper on Steam, so that's just playing. It's pretty good. I'm I'm still debating doing a let's play of it, but it's one of those where it's like it's been done to death. Like, oh, geez, maybe I should have jumped out of that. Um, it's been done to death. I mean, it was the craziest, most popular thing in the world two years ago, and now it's yeah, it's two years old. And uh, I don't think I, I don't know if I'd be able to do it justice. And probably wants to do it like fully voiced. If I did, then I'd need people for that. And, and well, last time I tried to do voiced things, Chrono Trigger happened, and that never ended. That's something I'd really like to start up again, even if it's not voiced anymore. I still want to. I mean, it's Chrono Trigger. It's one of my favorite games. I want to finish the Let's Play one day. But uh, an Undertale one would be a lot of fun. And it's just like, what would I do? Would I do all three? Playthroughs. Anyways, I don't want to get into it. Um, this is not Undertale. This is Sonic Mania. So let's talk about Sonic. He's blue. He's a hedgehog. And I am fairly certain I'm not going to be able to get Super Sonic anymore, just because, again, I feel this is probably the last level. Oh, jeez. Damn you weird pig things. Yeah, this feels very final. I love the music. And this is, I'm assuming, a an original level. I don't recognize it at all, and that background is, like, kind of cruelly polygonal. It's not really, but it is. I love it. Um, so, if this is the last level, I, I heard there was four um, original zones, so I'm assuming this is the last, uh, the fourth and last one. It reminds me a little bit of um, those, those, uh, those wow, wow, electrical orb things. That was my sound effect for the day, by the way. Wow, wow. Um, from Sonic 3's second um, second type of, of uh, bonus level, the ones that I really didn't like. I think I did it once in my Let's Play, and I was like, no, okay, we're not doing that again, because I hate those, and I didn't do them again. <laughs> I like how there's, like, cables and stuff everywhere. It's really, it's really cool-looking zone. It looks like I'm flying up. The background looks like I'm climbing up, like, to where a mech's going to be or something, which would be very cool. That could be the Titanic Monarch, actually. That would make sense. I apologize, by the way, if this, I noticed, uh, well, uh, just going over the see if things tape properly before I start new episodes, um, I'm sniffing a lot. And I, I, I'm not not feeling bad. I'm not feeling the greatest right now, so I apologize if my sniffing sticks around in these episodes. So. Whee! Well, to be honest, now it's not so bad. I mean, if I do a big, like, a <laughs> kind of thing... I could edit that. Um, I remember when I started doing Let's Plays because um, my capture software wouldn't capture the game audio, just the video. Oh, how'd that hit me? Um, so I'd tape the. I'd have to turn the TV up really loud and then record my voice and the music at the same time. So I couldn't edit those out, uh, or else I. Oh damn, that's so stupid. Or else I'd, um, you know, you'd lose full audio for a second. Uh, now I can edit it out. Now I can like, you know. If I accidentally say something I shouldn't, or, or if I suddenly use words that aren't good, which is kind of weird. Um, I've actually had people ask that, about. by, by the way. Like, I do swear in my Let's Play, obviously. If you've watched me play games, I swear. Um, and they're like, but you, you, you like purposely don't say the F word. I'm like, yeah, I don't. Um, I have before, and a few of them. I remember the end of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, boy, did I ever. And then a couple times with uh, Azure, because she brings out the worst in me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why I feel like the F word is like that line I don't feel like crossing. I don't know why, because I certainly do in, in my regular speech. If you talk to me in real life, I certainly say it. I don't know why. I really don't. 
Maybe it's like, oh, what if my grandma watches? I don't want her to hear me say that. Like, I don't I have no idea. I think it's because it's, I, maybe it's overplayed. Like, you can watch Game Grumps and all sorts of other Let's Players to get swearing style antics. Like, I feel like my comedy, not that I'm very comedic. Oops, screw that up. Uh, not that I'm very comedic, I don't really tell jokes, it's more just like reacting to what I'm doing. Um, but I, I, I feel like most of it doesn't come from swearing, I guess. I don't know, I hope it doesn't. And I kind of don't want it to because that's it's just done to death. I don't know. Yeah, there's there's the the type. You can see that in the in the background there. That's where the big Eggman was, Doctor Robotnik robot. Oh, and this guy, huh? You're from Sonic Three as well. You've been overusing bosses near the end of this. Tisk Tisk Sonic Team or whoever made this Christian Whitehead, who by the way did a fantastic job on this. So, anyways, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I guess it's just like I don't know. If someone's gonna watch my stuff, I don't want to be like, haha. Phil is the type of guy who lets out a long stream of swear words, and that's funny to me. And I mean, like, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I love that stuff sometimes. But it's just not my thing to, to entertain people with. So I guess people who do watch me watch me for a different reason, which is cool. <sighs> it's been a long day. I don't normally do um, this many recordings in a single day, to be honest. I am playing Sonic Mania completely through. In one basic sitting, like, at, at the end of every episode, I kind of, like, make sure the recording went through properly. Um, because I'm, I'm scared to, like, lose episodes due to, like, a bad capture or something, so I, I check right away. Um, but normally, like, when I do Mega Man, for example, I did Mega Man 7 in one playthrough. because uh, Mega Man 7 was short anyways. But most of the time I'll play, like, I'll do one or two, maybe three episodes in a day. Um, if, oh, I can go to the left. Oh. What what the hell is this? Okay. That's really weird. It really seems like there'd be something there. Oh, well, whatever. Um, geez, I lost track of what I was talking about at all now. Oh, God, no. <laughs> so this is it. This could very well be the last level. Um, look at all those, that background. You got that stained glass window and very, very cool. So I've noticed these guys have been, like, doing that weird, like, friggin' 3D big dice grid thing on me. I'm assuming I'm just, oh, weird. I'm assuming I'm just, uh, moving too fast and it's not able to lock on me, but I'm, I don't want to know what happens. Probably just get hit. This is a weird level. Jeez. Oh, okay. Okay, so that was bad. I'm back to where I was, I guess. Okay, now I'm here. I don't know. So the purple fog seems to teleport me, and sometimes it teleports me onwards, I assume, and other times it, like, just sends me back to where I was. Oh, geez, where am I now? So far, um, this game has done a good job of the levels so far. I never feel like I'm truly lost. I mean, I feel like I'm going, which way, and holy nuts, where am I? But I'm never, like, oh my, like, am I going back? And I mean, yeah, I, don't, I, I just want to go down. I don't know why I want to do that. Probably to prove myself wrong and like, oh, nope, never mind. Now I don't, don't know where to go. Um, but yeah, like, oh, it's gonna hit me this time. Oh, okay, so I was already invincible, so it probably didn't affect me. Oh, it's gonna affect me this time. Oh, nope, okay, whatever. Just, it stops attacking me, like, suddenly. I want to see if, oh, okay. I was hoping there was something up there where those rings are. Anyways, um, during my Sonic 3 and Knuckles Let's Play, there was a few parts where I'm just like, I've played this game hundreds of times. Maybe not hundreds of times, but at least two or, th two or three times over the last few years, where I'm like, Am I going backwards? And I would end up the same place I already was. And so far, I find that hasn't happened in Sonic Mania. Um, it's really... Shit, I'm doing so bad right now. Um, that wind is getting me. Um, so far, they did a really good job. I don't find the game cheap. It's a little easy. Um, this is an easier Sonic game than I'm used to compared to the other four. Um, I don't really think that's a bad thing. I don't think Sonic games should be difficult. Uh, it's similar how to, like... Like, I don't mind if... I don't mind if a Mario game gets difficult, but I don't think they really need to be. And if there's a difficult one or like a difficult like secret world, and that's cool, because like I'm good enough at Mario games that, that that's good. But Sonic games get frustrating when they get hard. Oh, I'm back here. And okay, I guess with this way. I probably have to like do all all four like directions or something. But yeah, with a Sonic game, when it gets difficult, it gets cheap and it gets annoying. And so far, this game hasn't really done that. This game has done a fairly good job of being, like, uh, somewhat fair, I guess. 
There's always rings to get. Um, enemies aren't always at the cheapest place in the world. Um, you are rewarded for going quickly at a lot of places with, you know, crazy roller coaster mechanics and stuff. And and I, I know there's no skill in going through those portions of the game, but I mean, that's a, a big reason of why a lot of people play Sonic games is those... F Whoa! Oh, God. oh, wow. See, like, there we go. In every other Sonic game, that would have killed me instantly. But in this one, they knew that that would get... Oh, I'm just get back here again. They know that that would get... F yeah, so it just sends me back. All right, that's... Now I've figured it out. Keep going. Um, in any other Sonic game, that would kill me. But in this one, they figured out that, that that's punishing the player because you made a shitty engine or something. And this one, it just kind of pushes you back out. And that's a lot smarter than just killing you. Like, I don't think I've gotten squished, like, maybe, maybe once in, in this playthrough, but, like, with the exception of, like, one death, I feel that I've, I've been treated very fairly uh, this playthrough, and that's great. That's a great sign. Ooh, ah, damn it. No, I think they did a great job with this. Oh, we here we go. Woo! I could see this being a really good speedrunning game. I, I've said that before, like, in the first episode, but I'm, I'm looking forward to, like, someone doing a really good speed run of this game and, and the community getting together and figuring out how to go super fast. Um, that'd be really, really cool. And I've done... Oh, they block it off if I haven't done it already. Okay, or I have done it already. That's smart. But um, everything seems to be designed to, like, to really reward the player if they know the level layout, and that's very cool. Um, and, and only a few Sonic games, or even a few levels in a Sonic game, actually do that. So... Like, okay, so we're nearing the end, and I mean, I, I, usually I wait for the credits for, like, the whole, like, what do I think of this game? And I will still do that, but I want to say right now that this is probably the most fun I've had with a Sonic game in years. This is really impressive. I've loved, like, every second playing this with, with you guys, actually. And that's, that's kind of, I, I can see why people like doing blind plays so much, because, I mean, this was, this is different than just me sitting on the couch playing it by myself and then being like, yeah, that was fun, I'll let's play it. This was fun learning the new things and and being surprised with you guys. And that was a lot a lot funner, I guess, than just playing up on myself. And while I'm not gonna be doing blind plays anytime soon for like a bunch of games, it's something that I'm gonna look into a little bit more, depending on the game. So and I mean it does help that games like this, like, they're gonna be less than ten episodes. They you know, they're made they're designed to be like that. So I'm more up for that, if that makes any sense. I'm never gonna, like, blind play an RPG. Um, I might do, like, a blind episode. That's something I've been thinking about doing, is just, a uh, little, like, fill-in-the-blanks quickies, where it's like, okay, I want to play this game, but I do not want to do a full Let's Play. Here's one 20-minute episode, because I just wanted to put this game on the channel. I think that'd be kind of fun. So, you know, I might start doing that for some blind play things, because, I mean, I like what I did with uh, Breath of the Wild where it was like a let's try. I mean, I knew I wouldn't let's play that entire game because, my god, that game was giant. It took me multiple tens of hours to beat that game, and I wasn't even close to 100%ing it. But doing up to that part, you know, the point that I did, it, it, play, it felt like I did something that really helped explain how the game was to people without getting into crazy spoilers. Anyways, I'm rambling. Like I, yeah, like I always do. And none of this was about Sonic. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, okay, there we go. Whoa. It's really cool. Am I at the end now? Is this... Oh, is this it? Here we go. Uh, start the, f the the bunch of final bosses, I guess. Titanic Monarch, caution alert. You look like Modok. <laughs> Alright. Oh, oh, okay. So I can't have him right now. Is that like a force field? Or is it just... Is it going to hurt me? No, it's a force field. Okay, now. That was a long level. Jeez, you know, ten minutes. Ah. Okay, hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Oh, three hits is pretty good. This is, I'm assuming, only the first phase of the last boss, so I'm assuming there's going to be a, a lot of hits. And I've taken out one of his tentacles. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. What the hell? Oh, oh, it's the other, the other egg robot guy. Okay, cool. So it's a bunch of little bosses. That's a smart idea. Oh, jeez. Watch out. No, no, no. That was easy. All right. I'm going to attack you now. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Hmm. So they just kind of send you there. I guess you're not supposed to beat them? Or maybe you are? I don't know. I guess we're just going to see what happens. I need to stop jumping into electricity. I have no coins. Rings, I mean. Shit, this is not good. 
Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Boink. Well, at least with the two bottom um, wires or whatever you want to call ball chain things, um, I'm, I, I'm, ah, oh, shit, they really won't stop until they hit me. Um, I can't get electrocuted if I don't jump. Oh, what the hell's, okay, ah, oh, shit. He's gonna come, like, get me, isn't he? Um, ah, frig. That was really stupid of me. Ah, <laughs> uh, please give me a ring or two. Okay, good. I like how this is, I mean, I don't know if this is the final boss or not, but with Sonic 3, um, and, and actually all the Sonic games, they, if you don't have rings going in, they will not give you more rings for the final boss. Uh, I mean, Sonic 1 and 2, they just don't give you rings. It's one hit, you're dead. Sonic 3, you can have rings getting in there, but I'm pretty sure you don't get any more rings while you're in that boss, so. Watch out. Yeah, I'm just gonna play it safe, because I can get at least one hit when the electricity goes away, so I'm just gonna do that. Oh, my time resets! I didn't even notice that when you die. Hmm. I thought it would just continue to where you had left off, so I'm more than 10 minutes in this uh, boss there. This is going to be a long episode, because, I mean, after this, like, it's probably the final, final boss in the credits, so this might go on for a little longer. But, I mean, that's that's the usual thing for finales on my channel, so whatever. I don't think anyone's going to complain. Ah, shit. Did I get that? Okay, good. I got that ring. Okay, one. I want to stay on the left side now. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Four hits. Oh, that was awesome. That was really good. Alright, now I'm fighting. It was the... Yeah, the case. So they, they must hit you. So why not just come at me fast? If It doesn't look like I can avoid it. This weird Shinobi Eggman. Oh yeah, there was five of those egg robots. It was like the big guy. He was like a king or something. And you can see him in the background there. Oops, I just like thwacked my microphone there for a second. And so th th that must be like the final, final boss or something. Because I'm not... Oh, jeez, that was close. Because, like, I'm uh, fighting Eggman right now, and there was no sign of that fifth egg robot. Weird. Eh, eh, eh. Shit. There we go. Ah. Wow, I ran right into that. Oh, good. Oh, phew, that was close. This is a long boss, two minutes in. Oh, yeah, I did it! Alright, so time for the final, final boss, I assume. Ha! Oh, <laughs> he's so animated, I love him. Now you must escape. Bye, Robotnik. No, there's Knuckles. Pew! Come on. Oh, jeez, so how did Robotnik get out of that? No, oh, cinema. So, oh, okay, so apparently that's it. So, okay, so the last boss must be just when I have all seven Chaos Emeralds. Oh, they're so cute. I really like the old school looking of Sonic and, and the characters. Oh, it was great. Yay! So, no cool song or anything? Oh, here are the credits. Okay. Um... All right, Sonic Mania. Wow. Um, I want to say straight up that that was an incredibly fun game. Incredibly fun. I had a lot of fun with it. I'm looking forward to playing it more with the other characters and getting the seven Chaos Emeralds and just doing a bunch with this. This was awesome. And it was like... It, it, it's cool to see a bunch of Americans take on this thing and do really good... Maybe not, maybe not American, but I mean... Um, non-Japanese, if that makes any sense. Because, like, Japan's very much, like, we make our games and we don't like giving away the games to a lot of other, like, foreigners and stuff. And and companies have started to do it. It's nice to see it really pay off with this one. I hope this does really well. If you've watched all this, um, and you've enjoyed it, please buy it. It it was super fun. And, I mean, hell, there's there's Knuckles and, and Tails to play with, and there's still the two-player mode. If, if I wanted to, I could have had someone play as Tails with me. So yeah, if you liked what you saw, play it. Go buy it. Man, that was awesome. The music was super good. Um, I think my only complaint was that there's not enough original levels, but... Oh, excuse me, I'm burping now. Um, I can't com really complain about that, because even the older levels were super, super good. 
and were original. You know what I mean? Like the first act of that zone would be like a really good, like, hey, do you remember this? Here's some nostalgia. And the second act was like, frig, here's like Chemical Blant Zone, but so different than what I would remember it. And it was super well done. Um, other than that, like, it was gorgeous. The music was super good. Difficulty was, I think, spot on. I think it was easier than the average Sonic game, which I think is okay. It was long. That was like 12 friggin' zones. I think that makes it the longest 2D Sonic game, like, ever. Um, I loved it. Ha Alex the Kid, that's cute. Pun on Alex Kid. Sega's original mascot. Which I haven't actually fully played a game from that series, which I probably should. I've got most of them. Um, yeah, this was great. I really enjoyed it. Um, I think little things, like, I didn't like how the blue orbs came back. I'm, I was always sick of the blue orbs. There's so many of them in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. But the Sonic R racing stuff, awesome. And the, the little curves they throw at you, like, like all of a sudden you're in a boss battle, it's Puyo, Puyo Pop. Like, that's that's just cool. I love that stuff. Um, I wouldn't have minded some more references, but I mean, what we got was incredible. And I like how they didn't go past, like, the original, um, like, like versions of Sonic. Like, you didn't see Shadow. You didn't see um, Cream the Rabbit or Big the Cat. or You saw Amy, but it was Sonic CD's version of Amy. And I think that's really cool. Like the only other characters you saw were like the friggin' Game Gear characters and the uh, Sonic the Fighters. I think that's really cool. Um, I love this, guys. I really did. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so what I'm I'm gonna do? I was I was deciding it while I was playing, but I might as well because I'm I'm gonna do this my, myself anyways. I'm gonna go back and get seven Chaos Emeralds. I'm gonna replay the ending, uh, and I'm gonna put the end of this episode. Uh, we're already at like 20 something minutes. It's probably gonna go a little bit longer. It's not really a big deal If you don't want to watch it all, you know, press pause and watch again tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know But uh, yeah, I'll definitely put the last little bit up because I'm gonna put the last fight and the real ending up there Which might be a little bit longer. So this might be like a half hour like 35 minutes but uh Yeah, fantastic That the opening was incredible the it's funny because when they announced it when they announced Sonic Mania, I was, I'll be really honest, I was not looking forward to it. To me, Forces was what I was getting excited about, because, like, classic Sonic's in it. Oh my god, is this Sonic Generations 2? And then they were like, it's Sonic Forces. I'm like, but you mean Sonic Generation 2, right? Um, and I'm still gonna try out Forces, it looks fine. I mean, it's not gonna be as bad as Sonic or or Sonic Boom, I hope. But, anyways, they announced this, and I was like, oh, like, how lazy. Like, oh wow, they're just doing the Mega Man 9 thing. And then as they showed more, I was like, this is pretty cool. And I'll be honest, when it came out um, today, or sorry, uh, it, it was it came out yesterday. I got it today, um, or Wednesday. Well, at least the taping of this is a Wednesday. Um, and I wasn't going to get it because I was like, eh, I don't want to spend that money. Uh, and part of me wants to wait for a physical copy because I know there sooner or later will be a physical copy, even if it's like a limited release. Um, and then I saw the reviews. And I was like, you know what? If I don't play it now... I'm just going to get spoiled. Everything's going to be spoiled for me because everyone's going to be talking about this uh, in, in my circle of retro internet stuff. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad I played it. I'm glad I, I, I bought it. I'm glad Sega got some money out of this uh, from me because they deserved it. They took a chance hiring some guy. I don't know who Christian Whitehead is. Uh, Whitehead is. Apparently he's known online for just being a really good programmer and, and Sonic fan. Awesome. And you know what? It paid off. And I want Sega to know that, I guess. I, so, you know, please purchase this game. Please support them. Um, Lola Okuboyojo. I can't pronounce that. But I don't really have much more to say, to be honest. Um, the game was just absolutely fantastic. And and it's, it's nice to see a Sonic game that's not horrendously bad. And even, like, like Sonic gets a lot of hate, obviously. It's not... Sonic games aren't as bad as everyone says they are. I mean, 06 is, and Sonic Boom is hilarious. I love the game. I know it's bad, but I love it. Um, I think the rest are just kind of... People hate on them a lot more than they kind of should. They're not great, sure. Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 are far from my favorites, but they're still super playable. Um, you know, until you get to the dumb Knuckles and Rouge the Bat treasure hunting things. <sighs> yeah. This is a long credits. How many people freaking worked on this? A lot more than I thought. I thought this was like seven guys and that was it. 
But uh, I guess they're they're counting things like yeah, the receptionists and people who you know are still super important to this. So good on them, absolutely. But yeah, no, hopefully that means this is a good restart to the Sonic franchises. Hopefully Sonic Forces is good. Um, the more they show off, like I'm, I'm still excited about it, but the more they show off, the more the internet's not caring anymore. Um, hopefully this shows that people are, are like, man, maybe maybe Sonic deserves another chance. And I, I know this is like the 18th friggin' chance that Sonic has gotten. And maybe one more is what it needs. I don't know. I, I honestly think... Because I, I, was, I was like, oh man, Sonic Forces doesn't do good, then that should be the end of it. Maybe Sonic should disappear. This brought some hope, you know what I mean? Now make a 2D Sonic game with new visuals and stuff. Try again, the classic try again thing. All right. Well, hey, um, this was fun. Let's go to the real ending now. Normally I'd say, hey, see you guys next time. But I mean, technically, are you the fastest thing alive? Time attack. Oh, cool. Uh, Prayer of Challenge. Competition is now unlocked. Oh, cool. Uh, Super Peel Out. Sonic's ability from Sonic CD is now unlocked. Nice. Okay, all right, yeah, uh, let's skip to that um, well, final final thing. All right, so here we are. This is the final boss. Um, I'm recording the audio after I've already played this because I ended up dying a few times. This uh, battle was actually kind of difficult. So that's the last um, egg robot, I guess, that we didn't see throughout the entire game. So you just see him now. I guess he takes over the stone or whatever. And I think it's the... I looked it up online. I guess it's the time stone from Sonic CD is what people are saying. So, I don't know. If anything Sega CD wise, I don't know it very much. Um, so the reason why this took me a few tries is actually because when you're Sonic, Super Sonic, um, and you do that, you, there's like a little dash you can do. I'll do it a couple times probably. Um, oh yeah, I, by the way, I cut out all the deaths. This is, this is the one where I beat the game. Um, you lose a lot of rings. I didn't realize that, so I was just like dashing like mad and wondering why I would just die so quickly. So that was my stupid fault. But I mean, I still have 18 lives, so clearly it's not that bad. And um, anyways, the battle's really weird. You just kind of fight Robotnik and the Egg Robot as they fight over the last, like the stone. So you, all you do is kind of attack them. Um, the only thing Robotnik has is that kind of punching thing, and then once he stops, you just kind of smack him. And the other guy has, like, electrical uh, balls surrounding him. And the big electric balls that he shoots at you, they'll actually hurt you. They'll take away rings from you, so you want to avoid those. Um, I'll be right honest, it's kind of an unspectacular final boss. I'm actually fairly disappointed. And the ending is not that much better once you actually see it. So yeah, this is the boss. This is it. It doesn't change. It doesn't get crazier. It doesn't get more intense. There's a limitless amount of rings that just kind of fly around, though. It's almost like you have um, that, the lightning shield on you at all times, so it kind of just... They, they uh, go near you. Uh, they, they, they home in on you when you get close to them, so... As long as you're not getting hit by that attack, very often you should be fine for rings. You start with 50, so, you know, I'm at 30-something right now. There we go, so Robotnik's dead. And then I'll, one more hit will take care of the other guy. And... Damn it. Come on. Bam. There we go. Yeah, that's not a great boss, and the ending doesn't really change much either. Um, it's okay, though. What is what is interesting, though, so this is uh, a couple days after um, I beat the game, so this is like, we're Friday right now, so I did, I did the entire playthrough on Wednesday. So the cinematic's basically the same, except Sonic's not there. He doesn't escape right away. That's him right there, I'm assuming. Um... So, in the last couple days, I've been watching a lot of Sonic Forces trailers, and I think some people have mentioned this already. Uh, by now, I would assume, at least uh, by now, that this video's gone up. But, uh, what I think happens right here is uh, Sonic gets transported into Sonic Forces. And the reason I think this, you'll see why in a second here. So, right here. Whew, and Sonic does this, that pose right there. And that's the exact same pose that Classic Sonic has when he's announced for Sonic Forces. Um, also, the boss, Infinity or whatever his name is, has the sound effect of the, the boom, 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 boom. And it's exactly from this game. So anyways, um, super fun. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'm just going to play around and have some fun myself. So I'll see you guys next time um, for whatever I do. I'm filling the blanks. Take care, guys.